Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. In this video, we're going to finish up the little diaper cover by sewing the Swiss edging along the leg hole opening and sewing the buttons on. Now, as you can see, I've already got one little leg hole finished um, with the buttons sewn on. Um, I haven't sewn my other buttons on because I need to be able to um, go under the sewing machine with that, but I do have them marked with two little blue marks. Now, let me unbutton this real quickly. Okay, now you can see how I have this done along here, um, and it's trimmed on the inside. So let me show you how I did this. Okay, I've got my Swiss edging, and when I put it on, I have to be careful because it has a front side and it has a bobbin side. So um, I need to, when I attach it, I just need to make sure that when it flips to the inside, um, that the bobbin side is on the inside. Okay, now this needs to curve along this edge. So I, um, and actually my Swiss edging is a little bit, the Batiste edging is a little bit wider than what I generally like to use, but rather than trimming it, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now, about every two of these little Swiss loops on the end, I'm going to clip a notch in the Batiste right up to the entredeau ladder using my embroidery scissors, just clipping little notches along the Batiste. Just be careful not to cut the entredeau ladder. Okay, this will take me a minute to get this clipped all the way along, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got that clipped all the way along, so now it will curve and ease along this leg hole opening. Now, I'm going to start at one end, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave about a half an inch of edging sticking out. Now, and then I'm going to line up, I can see the, the edge of the diaper cover um, through the batiste of the Swiss edging, so I'm going to... Uh, trim it or pin it on where the Batiste edging is hanging off the edge of the diaper cover about half the width. Okay, now about every two notches, or, or I am, every two notches, I'm going to put a pin in and I'm going to ease this along the edge of the diaper cover. Okay, this will take me a little while to get this pinned all the way along, and there's no sense in you sitting here watching me pin um, Swiss edging to the edge of a diaper cover, so I will be right back. Okay, I've got that Swiss edging pinned on all the way long um, using lots of pins. Now I've got my sewing machine um, with white thread and I'm set for a straight stitch. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to very carefully, I'm gonna sew a straight line along the edge of the entredeau ladder. Let me make sure I'm going next to the ladder and not piercing it. Okay. All right, so let me, so let me take my pins out as I come to them. And we'll just sew the entredeau to the edge. Now notice I still haven't trimmed my entredeau. I'll do that in a little bit after I get it sewn on um, and pressed to the inside and zigzag it. I'll use my specialty scissors 
Okay, so I am so I'm sewing immediately to the right of the entredeau ladder without piercing um, the rails of the ladder. You know, ladders have rails that go up and down and they have rungs that go from side to side. An entredeau always looks like a ladder to me. So I talk about the entredeau ladder and the rungs and the rails. Okay, so this will take me a little while to sew this all the way along the edge of the leg hole opening. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've got that Swiss edging sewn on all the way along and it overlaps on either end by about a half an inch. Now I need to go to the ironing board and press this toward the inside so I can zigzag the second seam of attaching the entredeau. But before I do that, um, the, I, the, the Swiss, the Batiste of the entredeau is notched, but the Batiste of the diaper cover is not notched. So I need to go back and everywhere I have a notch, I'm going to notch the Batiste of the diaper cover also. Just be careful to not cut the sewing line that I just did. Okay, this will take me a minute to get this all notched all the way along, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got all those notches cut, and I've been to the ironing board, and I have pressed the notches neatly to the inside. Um, and I have left, as you can see, where the entredeau ladder um, is right next to the fold of the fabric. Now let me set my machine to a zigzag the appropriate stitch length and stitch width for sewing entredeau. Um, and then I'm going to zigzag the fold of the diaper cover um, to the entredeau ladder. Now this entredeau is like baby entredeau, so it's really, really sort of thin, so I've got to I've got this long curve and I'm going to go fairly slow with my zigzagging so that I main so I don't go past the entredeau ladder. I'm catching the fold of the fabric on the left and I'm going in the entredeau hole on the right. Okay, this will take me a minute to get this zigzagged all the way along the leg hole opening, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got that zigzagged on all the way along the edge of the entredeau ladder um, by sewing uh, the fold of the fabric. Now, from the inside, um, I need to use my specialty scissors um, and clip away some of the, well, all of these little notches. Let me see if I can get a good angle to do this. Let me get the first one. Just clipping them off, just close to the zigzag line. And this is gonna make a mess because the it's notched all the way along. and each notch is gonna come off individually. So just cut it close to the zigzag line um, without cutting the zigzag itself. See what I'm doing? 
I'm just trimming that close. Okay, now this is going to take me a little bit of a minute to get all of these notches cut off. Now, what I'll do, um, these specialty scissors, um, they've got this double curve in them, and they've also got a blunt tip. Um, they're really good for trimming on Trudeau and working with other laces so that you don't have to worry about the lace tips poking into the lace and potentially cutting your delicate lace. So I will put a link down below in the video description um, for where you can order a pair because these are not available at any of the big box stores. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've got all those notches trimmed from the inside. Now I've got two more things that I need to do. On either end, I need to fold my excess Swiss edging to the inside. Um, and with a needle and thread, I will tack that into place. Just do some little stitches, just to tack that down. Folding it down and tacking it helps it from ending up being a raggedy edge up at the end. So just a few little stitches to tack that into place. What I'm doing is I'm sewing into the entredo ladder and catching the little seam from behind. Okay, let me tie my thread off and do the next one and then I'll sew the buttons on. this other one just fold it over where it's even with the top edge the top back edge and then so catching the seam and going in the little entreno ladder holes to tack that into place Okay, now I've got two little button positions marked on the back. So let me sew my buttons on. And we'll be finished with this little diaper cover. Okay, all right, so I'm going to sew the buttons on where the it, see, this little button has sort of like a little fish eye. Let me see if you can see that. Um, I'm going to have the little fish eye parallel with the back top edge of the little garment. I've got four strands of thread in my needle, so I'm going to go through the button three times to hold it into place. And then I'll do the same thing with the next button. Okay, so that one is sewn on. Let me tie that off um, and then sew on the next little button, but I'll be right back. Okay, there, I've got both little buttons sewn on. And as you can see, um, the little eye shape is parallel to the top back um, of the diaper cover. Okay, now I can button these um, from side to side. On both sides. There. Okay. 
All right, the little diaper cover is now finished. And from the back, the little buttons um, are kind of on the back side. Um, and the little diaper cover will just kind of bunch up um, where the diaper uh, bunches up between the baby's legs. But we are finished with the diaper cover now. Um, and in the next video, we'll begin working um, on the bonnet to go with this. Um, I'll be using some of the same laces on the bonnet that I used on the older brother's um, fancy panel shirt, but we'll get to that in a little bit. But sewing the Swiss edging to the legs was what we were doing today and finishing up the final details by tacking the ends of the Swiss edging in place and sewing the buttons on. Thank you.